Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of, of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I am. And we're playing Madden 20, the, the 49ers, but I'm not on the sticks. You're not on the sticks. This oh, was your team. God. I took it over. Well, you can have it, You're dude. still the coach. I'm the GM. You know what I did? What's Fired that? everyone. Did you really? No. Did you keep everybody? No, I same? traded some guys away. Did you trade people? Who'd you trade? I kept Breda. I don't remember him. I kept Garoppolo. I don't remember Got him. Got some new wide receivers. I don't remember any of those guys who you didn't You name. played a lot. You played 20 games with them. Yo, fam, I pay attention to the commentary that is happening oh, on yeah? the outside world. My mind turned off. When I got to the point where I could shut my mind off and I could just pick the same three plays, and I just did <laughs> That's that. That's really all you did. It really is all I did. I'm not ashamed. <laughs> I won the Super Bowl with those same three plays. Your so. curls, dude. <laughs> Are you using the curls? I'm not. Use my curls, fam. Get on my curls. Use my curls, fam. Yeah, get on my curls, Jones. Do my, do my curls. Uh... But you can't do my curls like I used to do my curls. You know? There we go. There's the curls. You found the curls? That's them! It is. What? My wow. Of a He's happy. <laughs> I'm just He's surprised. Happy, Can you do it? Uh, see, you got to shoot the curl way earlier than that. I was not thrown to the curl. Oh, that's where you made your you mistake. You have to shoot the curl. <laughs> you got to. Are you surfing now? <laughs> shoot the curl, bro. You ever been surfing? Nope. Wakeboarding? Nope. Skiing? Nope. Uh, swimming? Yes. Okay, well, now we'll work up from there. Uh, jet ski. No, I want to, though, bad. I would like to go jet ski. We can go rent some. Where are we going to take Lake, Lake Austin. On the lake? You can jet ski on the lake. Yeah. they can. You can boat on the lake. Yeah. Not really? the one. It, it's not, like, in between the city. Not, that, not what they call a lake that's actually a river. It is... <laughs> What do you call it? Travis Lake is what you're talking about. Like, yeah, it's like Lake Travis, yeah. All right. But, um, yeah, because I've looked into it before because, like, I wanted to rent some for my birthday and just go ride jet skis. It'd be fun. It's like a real lake? Like, yeah. How big is it? Big enough that boats go on it. Really? Mm -hmm. well, it's like the Hudson. Yeah. Like I mean, the Hudson? Is Tim it? has a boat. Where do you think he boats? I, I was absolutely <laughs> unaware. I don't know. I figured maybe he had, like, a boathouse down south that he... He was... just went somewhere else and boated? Oh, freaking no, man. I don't know this area. You know, it's funny because, like, I've only been here for two years, and I meet other people that have been here for two years, and they're like, hey, I don't know anything. <laughs> and I'm like, me either. Yeah. You've been here for how long? Almost seven. And yeah. I, I don't know a lot either, dude, to be honest. Yeah. Well, in my defense, I spent four, like... In a family, so like we didn't do anything. Oh, you were playing that Mary guy role. Yeah, yeah. So like, I've leave. only really been single for two years. So really, I've only had two years to explore. Yeah. And I have learned a lot about the city, mainly because I've been like I see people who live on the other side and I have to go up there to hang out with them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I don't know. I don't leave the house much. Um, I don't really got too much. <laughs> I leave the house a lot, but it's usually to, uh, like, do the same thing. Like, go play volleyball. I don't learn anything about the city when I go play volleyball. Uh, yeah, but when you when you take enough of the freeway to one place, you do kind of learn, like, like some base routes. Yeah, yeah. I, I know my way around a lot better now, especially because, like, mm -hmm. yeah, like, yeah. Like, my ex lived up north, which I never went, so I went, learned about up north. Yeah, me just driving from, like, uh, places looking for a job has shown me a lot more. Like, I, I feel pretty confident I can find my way home sometimes. Yeah, that's important. Yeah. Finding your way home. Nah, dude, man. I got a GPS on my cell phone. My cell phone, this piece of crap right here that can't hold a charge past 45%, <laughs> this got me from New York to Florida and from Florida to here. Yeah, the, well, the battery has nothing to do with how well the GPS works. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying <laughs> is that I don't have to know my way home because I can just type home into Google and it gets me home. Yeah. There was a day where we couldn't do that. Oh, dude, I was a good person with a map, too, back in the day. Oh, my God. I used to come up with stuff with maps all the time. It's crazy is because, like, I'm so used to the world where we do have these, like, things right here yeah. like i would really feel like really scared you'd be <laughs> lost i was lost out there like if somebody was like hey yeah just come to my house it's here okay i gotta go to map quest and then think about prior to that like how the hell did people I before had 
Dude, I used to deliver pizza and used a map book. No. Bef yes, and it, it would take me forever to find houses sometimes. And, like, you would have to think about it before you left the store. You'd be like, okay, I got to take this road to this road. I know that. And then when I get there, it's, like, the third road on the left. And, like, because if not, you had to pull over, turn on your light inside, look at it, figure out, dude, it was trash. Gee, it's like it's like hearing grand, Grandpa talk about old war, war stories. Right, dude. It's like, and now a piece of delivery guy is easy. You type in the address, it takes yeah. you literally to the door. Yeah. I had to, like, walk through snow both ways with, <laughs> to get my pizza out there. Jesus. And they didn't. And now you probably get, and back, back then... You didn't get a, a delivery fee. You only got the tip, and no one and no one tipped you. You only got the tip. I'm sorry. I'm seven. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, I'm the seven guy. That is hilarious. Yeah, dude. Now you get a delivery fee plus the tip. Uh, you... I don't think they get the delivery fee. I think the store gets the delivery fee. Yeah, that's a myth. They s really? Is that no? not true? Are you si Wait a minute, Jonas. You might just blow the case wide open. Are you telling me that the delivery fee that says this is not a tip? That I, I think part of that goes to the driver. So I think it's three bucks. I think it's split half and half. What is the store taking money it's, for? Right. It should go all to the driver. No. I'm pretty sure because because it's not it's technically not a tip. It's part of your wage because it's like you get that for just for having the. Uh, Why am I paying for their wage directly? If I if I were to order a pizza, yes. At the end of me ordering the pizza, I gotta pay an extra seven to eight to almost ten dollars, depending on my tip, more adding on to the price. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, because cool, there's tax here. Because they're gonna toss tax. They're gonna toss that freaking. Uh, this is not a tip. Then what the hell is it? Delivery fee. You're paying part of their wage. Nah. Essentially. I, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. If I go to a restaurant, I don't get a, uh, this is not a tip added on to it uh, for d delivering my uh, plate of uh, spaghetti. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, is it mom's spaghetti? Or your no. mom's sweaty? No, I'm just saying is that if I go to the Outback Steakhouse and order a steak, I don't have to pay a, this is not a tip delivery wage for my steak. Right. I just give that woman a tip and I pay for my food and I go. Right. She delivered it to my table. Yeah. You deliver it to my house. I'm mad now. I will never. Oh, they'll and in, in the and the never. pizza place will be like, that's not for the driver. The the crazy thing is that 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 is actually less than it is to get it Uber Eats or Postmates or something. Oh, absolutely, hundred percent. Yeah, I think favor is is might be the way to go out here. Oh, I don't yeah? want to. Yeah, I don't want to say that. I don't want them to do me any favors. I would like them to sponsor us. Favor. <laughs> favor. <laughs> <laughs> let's do let's do our intro with our new sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. Brought to you by the quickest way to get it before you even know you need it. Just remember, if you need something delivered in a hurry, you can call me for this. I would sell out so fast. Yeah, dude. I would sell out today. Yeah, would you? I would. I mean, they don't want to pay. I mean, we have seven views, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what are they going to give us? No, no, I appreciate every single one of those views. I appreciate all of them, but advertisers don't. <laughs> They're like, oh, seven? All right, Jonas, I'll need you to do this math. Uh, if I have 375,000 subs, but I get 25,000 views on my video. Yeah. What is what is the percentage of people that are sub to me that are actually watching? Uh, you said three seventy five. Yeah, three. 14, 14, 15, because one fifteenth, which is about uh, seven and a half percent. And so, are we at that? Because we got we we're almost five. Thank you very much. We love every single one of you. We're almost at five hundred, and we get. Our amount of views. Oh, dude. No, we're lower than that. We're lower? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you would think, well, just think of it this way. 7% of 100 is, set, that'd be if we had 100 subs getting 7 views. Okay. So we're at, we have 400 and we're getting 7 views. So it's like, so it's like 2%. We have more than 7 sometimes. On, yeah, dude. I mean. Sometimes. Sometimes. Dude, we're at, like, okay. We are almost, we're not even halfway to the point where we could be monetized. Oh, inside baseball. I but love, our, you but love our to minutes, see it. Our minutes watch per month are barely under the requirement. Yeah, I see, so like, I so that. I mean, like, essentially, if if we got to a thousand, we 
I should have enough watch time. Because we have almost enough watch time with having hardly any subs. Mm. Which I appreciate everybody watching, man. It's great. I, I didn't too. think anybody would watch ever. So Jonas likes to get under the hood. I'm an analytics guy. If everything, dude. I used to like analyze stats and stuff with football when I was a kid for no reason. Yeah. I'm a numbers guy, man, for sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah, not me, not so much. Yeah, you're an English boy, not a math boy. No, dude, I hate it, man. I was the math boy. I didn't care for English. See, but oddly enough, I can I can actually write fairly well. But I uh, <laughs> there's so much power in the word, the spoken word, man. I used to tell people all the time. I was like, words have stopped wars, have started wars, words have killed people, words have brought people back to life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of power in words, man. That's that's kind of where I where I fell in love with with English. I would like to write a book, Jonas, man, but I'm just, I'm just not like a crazy person. You like write a, a book about what? I would like to write a book. I've written a couple short stories in my day, but like, do you want to write, write like a fiction novel, or do you want to write like an actual like like a technical book? No, like a, like a f- dude, I gotta let my imagination flow, fam. So a fact, a fiction novel. You can't put me in a box of facts. All right, <laughs> put me in a box of my Make own. Make up whatever you want. My own facts. I have like half a novel written in the rest of the outline. Yeah. Well, you, is it's it like fiction? thirty-six chapters. I have about seventeen written. It's like I don't know. It's like thirty thousand words. Is, or is it fiction? Yeah. What's it about? It's like thirteen characters intertwining stories. What's it about? I'm not putting it out there. What do you mean? I started it. I started it when I was eight. I started it when I was eighteen, and I wrote three chapters, and then yeah. it sat there forever. And then years later, I wrote the whole outline, and then I started writing the book, and I got like ten more chapters written. And then life then, in Ashtabula, folks. What? 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 With Ashtabula, folks. I said life. In life oh, in right. Ashtabula. No, no, this, no. I, I wrote all those other chapters when I lived in Texas. No, fair yeah. enough. Um, but then I got bored because I know what happens in the story. I wrote the outline, so like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't want to. Uh, part, part, oh, the bunny hop, dude. We've never. Seen I have it. never seen that before in my life. Um, part of like what I like about writing is being able to create. But I feel like I put myself in a box because I already did the outline, and now I'm just writing a story that I already wrote in my head. And I'm like, this isn't fun because I don't get to create new things. I'm just like writing. Oh, something. you don't like adding details. I love that in detail. Well, yeah, but like I wrote a pretty detailed outline. <laughs> oh, jeez. But no, dude, it's well, a, publish your freaking outline, man. Publish my outline. Yeah, why not? Because it's I don't know. I don't yeah, know. dude, it's it's a uh, it probably is trash now because it's like. I want to know what it's about. It's like a it's like a crime gritty kind of like. Really. Different, not like a crime drama. Like a pulp noir. Kind of, yeah, like if, if like like a pulp fictionish sort of story where there's like a few shady characters and they're all like, but they all intertwine in a way and the story progresses and like they like Reservoir Dogs, kind of like Pulp Fiction. Oh, kind of. Oh, like where it's like okay. a, there's a numerous characters and they kind of cross paths at different points. See, when you say Pulp Fiction, I think of the actual term of Pulp Fiction, oh, yeah, not, not yeah, the no, movie. Pulp no, Fiction. the movie Pulp Fiction. Uh, yeah, yeah, like so, like it's it's like yeah, it follows a few different characters and certain chapters follow different characters <laughs> and they end up running into each other and like. The one, the one uh, that I wrote that was the longest was probably like three or four chapters, but it was kind of like a. It was actually like a ancillary to Don Quixote. Okay. Where it was like a character that was basically Don Quixote, but not necessarily by name. Yeah. And it had to do with him like fighting like household. Well, I wouldn't say household, but just like common objects, like buildings and stuff. But they would they would like come to life, and it, it was it was fantasy. But well, I, obviously. I, <laughs> 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 but it was like him and then he had like a partner and stuff and he, it was it was crazy and then it was going to go into like him being in a mental institution and like it was all in his head he, I mean, well no that wasn't going to be all of it there was going to be more I was going to get into the institution and him getting out and then like there was going to be this. he really had to fight buildings at that <laughs> point okay Jonas get out of my head <laughs> He thought it was all made up in his head, and he leaves, and he's like, oh, my God, things are alive. Yeah. 
But uh, yeah. So yeah, I I never knew you were. Uh, I know you like you wrote that one book. Yeah, I wrote a book about uh, fantasy football. About fantasy football. It was more of a technical manual. What do you, Jonas? Man, you should plug your book on the channel. I wouldn't be mad if you plugged your book on the channel. Yeah, I don't want to right now. I plug my D on the channel all the time. Yeah, you do. Hottest D in town. Bam. Yeah. Simon that D. Yeah, people still buy my book sometimes. Really? Yeah, it's made like five hundred bucks. Oh, cool. Yeah. Sweet. I, it's worth the time I put into it. Absolutely. Yeah. I wish if I actually tried to market it, maybe I could make actual money. Right. That's what you gotta do. You put a bunch of short stories on Amazon and just let them like buy, dude. People Do you want me to interview you and I could we could talk about your <laughs> God no. <laughs> that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If uh, you've already done that, send your friends to our channel because we love them as much as we love you. But for Jonas and TNT Dynamite, catch you on the next one. We are next week to take on the.